Day. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's a special Halloween presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Zach Wilson and the New York Jets taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. set to do the honors and we are underway at MetLife Stadium taken in at the three and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return well, here come the Bills and you don't have to look hard to find their fifth year star QB taken seventh overall back in 2018 Josh Allen Buffalo gave Allen the most guaranteed money in league history before the start of last season, and boy, did he justify it by playing at an elite level once again, taking the Bills to 11 wins and another division title. Along the way, he threw for over 4,400 yards again and ran for 760 with 42 total touchdowns for a top-five offense. They were knocked down in overtime thriller against Kansas City in the playoffs, and they will be one of the favorites to win the AFC this season. Allen going to go to the air right away. Dancing to his left. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Part of the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay, because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. Now the fourth year running back, this is Devin Singletary. And he stopped immediately there. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Allen now looks to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Second and 11 at the 41. Allen going to throw. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Allen to throw it. And Diggs has it. 
And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. It's a nice completion and a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Allen off the play fake. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with a second and four. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. We'll get our first look at this New York Jets offense, really retooled the last couple of seasons. And at the helm under center, second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU, Zach Wilson. It was an educational rookie season for Zach Wilson, who was drafted to be the eventual face of the Jets as the team worked through a lengthy rebuild. 2,300 yards and nine touchdowns as a rookie. He did miss some time midseason with an injury, but I really like the work that the Jets have done to put people around him and give him his best opportunity to be not only the face of this franchise, but get him back into perennial playoff contention. Now the second year man from Carolina, this is Michael Carter. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another tote for Carter. 
And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he finds Corey Davis. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. They go play action with Wilson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 26-yard line. Now it's Wilson. And oh, a dangerous throw there. Nearly intercepted on the sideline, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Carter straight ahead. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now Wilson. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back in the 29. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. And Buffalo fans are hoping to see a lot more of that in his second season. Just four sacks in his rookie year, but the potential for double digits is exactly why Buffalo took him 30th overall in 2021. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Now Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. On play action, Allen sliding out of the pocket. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the 44, Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Allen. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, I could spin this negative ways. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. But when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll start on the ground, Carter, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Carter once more. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Second corner, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third down, here's Carter. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Oh, 
A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Now Allen. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. He finds his man complete. That's McKenzie. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Allen now on first down. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Allen. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Rookie Jermaine Johnson going all the way from last chance you to now dropping NFL quarterbacks. Jermaine Johnson had a roller coaster of a first day of the 2022 NFL draft where he expected to possibly go in the top 10 but the New York Jets were happy to trade up and take him 26th overall. They think he's got top 10 talent and could be the centerpiece of their pass rush plan. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. The well, Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Buying time to his left. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have taken the lead.
So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. Got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. All that remains is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we are at halftime here on Halloween as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Well, the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trailed by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. In 2021, Corey Davis made the move from the Tennessee Titans to the New York Jets. But injuries limited to only nine games. When healthy, though, he had begun to show the promise that made him a top five pick by the Titans. A promising rep there, getting a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Wilson. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. But well, based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll try the left side with Carter. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Ready, 
An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. There's Wilson to throw. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and the Bills force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. I don't think there's any other way to put it, but that was just simply deflating because you know they came out ready to go at halftime, right? Everyone motivating each other, wanting to get out there and get going, and that turnover absolutely saps your momentum. Now you're just shouting encouragement to your defense, hoping they can pick you up and give you another chance. to the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. And they'll begin by running the option. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second and nine, Allen. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by DJ Reed. Second half, close game, and we're certainly seeing some exciting plays, but it's really been the defensives. That's now back-to-back -back drives that have ended with interceptions. Yeah, the guys on the other side of the ball, as they like to say, the defenders, they've been the difference makers for their teams. And when they're taking their game up to this kind of a level, I want to see what happens with these offenses. Can they match them as this game goes on, or will the defenders continue to have full control of this one? First and 10, it's Carter. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll go again with Carter. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will tie things up at 6-6. Six, six. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there.
So back even at six apiece as the kicks away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes getting the sack the 227 pound linebacker Quan Alexander we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage at that time they get him down yeah they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage haven't they that time it felt like okay enough of this Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, that would be the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. To the air, Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On play action, Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Back to throw. Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Allen on third. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. 
The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call there always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. They go play action now. Wilson. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Play action. It's Wilson. Rolling to his right. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Wilson. And that nearly intercepted. With a free safety roaming into position, almost had it, but it's second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Throwing is Wilson. And that will be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. This to break our fourth quarter time. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they take the lead here as it's now 9-6. to six. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Off the play fake, Allen. 
And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Now Carter to start the drive. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Wilson. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. From the gun, it's Wilson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. And my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception, potentially a game changer. And I've just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that's your M.O., and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no breaks, you better have the emergency lever to pull occasionally. They could have used it right there. They put themselves in a tough spot with that interception. And he'll be marked. 
brought down right at the 20-yard line. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Throwing is Allen. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Allen. This is caught. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Allen. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him two yards on that play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this one is right through. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. first down and he'll be taken down here and that is how this one is going to come to an end and here in overtime if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown it's over if they don't we can still have some more football that's exactly right if they go down and kick a field goal 
the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Jets won the toss. They'll get the first shot at finding a winner as we are back underway here in overtime. This taken in at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And now out come the Jets. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, he's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Give up the middle to Carter. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 11 more on that one and another first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, Sometimes a thing of beauty. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Wilson. They will find Davis. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A good start for him under center here in overtime. Now three of three. And this we have to know who you have playing quarterback. You've got a confident thrower right now. Someone is taking care of the ball, but not being timid as well, and is moving the team downfield. That opens up your playbook and allows you to dial up some big shots if you want them. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he is going to lose yardage here. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Second and 11 now. Here's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now Wilson, and this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, Parker? That we were, and I just love Attention on the field, very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL, but the execution was pretty darn good. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drives seven plays in length. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Send this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. First throw of overtime for Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Allen going to throw. Caught right side, Davis. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now Allen again. And that is incomplete. All out of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. Here's Allen. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass.
Allen going to go on fourth down. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized, you know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you, you know. If people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. Excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the J-E-T-S as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.